Mexican art collector burns a Frida Kahlo original just to promote NFT collection. Wow, this one just checks all the boxes, huh? Destroying history, destroying culture, and selling NFTs after the bubble? And you know what? I'm low-key envious that this man has the ability to speedrun being terrible. You'd be surprised how far you can get if you don't care about your fellow man. And I just, I can't do that because I'm too busy feeling guilt and wanting to be a good person. I don't know. Maybe I should just change up my method. Rest in peace. Harris County Sheriff's deputies say Melissa Town, 37, told her daughter Nicole to get on her knees. She then grabbed her hair and used a knife to slice her throat. Burning at the stake, stretching rack, guillotine, a brazen bull. What I'm trying to say here is that she deserves a medieval execution. And I would pay to watch. I would pay to watch this woman get wrapped around the braking wheel and someone slamming her legs with a sledgehammer. When Town realized that her daughter wasn't dead, she what the f oh my god. Oh my god! At what age is a woman old enough for a 30 year old man to date? 21? Oh, 9%, that's a little low. You're, you're, you're playing in the kiddie pool at that point. Chill out. 18 to 20, what's going on here? 16 to 18. Less than six, what is this, where is this poll being taken? Oh my God, it's a YouTube poll. That's why it looks so familiar, Jesus. What type of sick fan base do you have? Now I know there's people in the audience who might be thinking that people are being sarcastic, people are being ironic, and just choosing the worst options, which is absolutely possible, but to be honest, there's just not enough votes for that to make sense. A sophomore at my high school, I was a senior, got into a fight at a party and the person he was fighting picked him up and slammed him headfirst on concrete. Instead of bringing the kid to the hospital, they put him in the bathtub of the house the party was at. While he was unconscious and dying because of a swollen and hemorrhaging brain, people from my high school took photos of themselves pissing on him, slapping him, and dumping beers on his head. A few hours later, he was taken to the hospital and pronounced dead on arrival. Congratulations, everybody in that party just picked up a felony charge of manslaughter. I really hope you're a fan of poverty because it's about to be your best friend. Everybody at that party is gonna find out just how many times they can split a brick of ramen. Straight from the official UN Women Twitter account, of all journalists killed in 2021, 11% were women. In 2020, this was 6%. On the International Day of End Impunity for Crimes Against Journalists, let's say this out loud. Hashtag protect journalists. Stop targeting women journalists. Now, I'm certain that whoever runs this Twitter account isn't good with math. I get it. You're, you're the Twitter guy. You're a PR person. You're not there to do calculus, but I'll do the calculus for you. 11% of journalists killed in 2021 were women. In 2020, it was 6%. So we're going to take the 2021 because it's a little bit easier. If 6% of journalists that are being killed, I really fucking wonder who occupies the other 94%. But hey, I might be a cuckoo brain maniac for thinking that targeting means the majority of journalist deaths would be within your camp. If women are truly being targeted, like you say, then you need to show me some bigger numbers. Those are some rookie numbers. 6%? You got me fucked up! This next clip shows a woman trying to help her boyfriend fight his fear of heights in the world's worst way. She wasn't trying to help him. This was just an opportunity for her to bully him. Keep going! Oh my God. You're almost there. You're almost okay. there. Okay, I'm doing good? Yeah, you're doing so good! <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, come on. Okay. You're almost there. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. A little that's bit high. more. No, babe, that's too high. Okay. Now, now you have to walk back. Oh, uh, no, I can't. No, no, no. Babe, I can't. Try getting up. I can't. There's no way I'm getting around. up. Do you need help? Babe, do you need help? Please, babe. Please help me. I can't okay. do it. Oh, oh my god, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, babe. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Jeff as your boyfriend. Might have trouble opening up at first, but grows to trust you when you show him you won't ever leave. Lots of horror movies. He'd love comforting you when you get scared. Absolutely adores seeing you in his clothes. Shows you he loves you through his actions more than words. Jeff really loves to cook for you, except a meal made with love every day. The amount of tweets I see that mirror all of these things, the amount of people online who idolize and are romantically interested in serial killers are more than you think. It's a ton of people and all of them, I mean all, the entire bell curve, every single one of them are criminally fatherless. It's ridiculous that anybody would actually be romantically interested in a dude who fucking ate people. So you condone a father having sex with his daughter? If they're both consenting adults of fully sound mind and no coercion is involved, yes. Controversial statement, just because you consent to shit doesn't make it moral. Just because because you're chill with a woman hitting you in the face with a hammer while jacking you off doesn't make that activity any less fucking perverted and taboo. Same thing goes for consensual incest. I don't even know where to fucking start with that. And to be honest, I'm not gonna lay out some fucking thesis as to why incest is wrong, because these people's brains are so fucking hollowed out by Pornhub means they're not gonna hear anybody reasonable out. These gross fucks, for some reason, are all on Reddit, and none of them have shame. Twitch star Amarath says that she's being abused by her husband, update. Wow, oh my god, if I stop streaming for The Sims, he teaches me a lesson. It's weird that I know what encouraged this behavior. This woman gives me the vibe that she's chronically online, that she can't even fathom that for one time out of a million that someone is actually being genuine about abuse online. It isn't a scam, it isn't a grift, it could possibly be a legitimate situation of domestic abuse. And let me tell you, what 90% of people do online now, because I have heard stories like that, I have been fooled, you simply read the article and you wait it out. You don't draw any conclusions, you don't have any opinions, you just wait for more evidence to drop. But because this woman has no fucking internal monologue and no fucking thoughts, she went out of her way to just clown on somebody with the assumption being that Amaranth is doing some sort of fucking Rift. Read the room, bitch. This is not the vibe. You're not funny. Nobody is giggling and nobody's gonna follow your Twitch account, bruh. Chill the fuck out. Okay, so this raggedy ass bitch just came into erotic and stole from my store. Stole from my store. Okay, stop. Don't touch me. And we're gonna follow her to her house because she says she's gonna pay for it there. Right? Yes. Okay. So enjoy the ride and we'll let you know where she lives. Let's play a game called Look in the Thief's Purse. So let's see what she has. Stop. Oh, she also took a skirt, Justin. Did you see that? What? No. You raggedy bitch. You look at me like I'm crazy and you stole from me. The irony, right? Don't steal from small businesses, Oki. I should kill more cats. At least I won't feel angry because cats made my six bird species go extinct. Maybe I should strangle them or inject them with acid in their eyes, or maybe I should chop them into pieces using an axe. I simply don't care about their stupid lives. Yesterday, I killed a fucking cat as well as her babies. I simply don't know why they're so worshipped when they're so useless. I don't even want to know what subreddit this is attached to, or even what post this is attached to. Or maybe it's just a psychopath with no filter, and it's just sharing his innermost thoughts with the rest of the world on Reddit. Who knows? It could be anything. But what I do know for certain is that while this dude was typing up this paragraph, he thought he was the biggest badass on the planet. <laughs> People gonna think I'm so cool for this. Oh man, I chop up cats with axes. I doubt that. Oh man, I'm gonna inject acid into cats' eyeballs. I doubt that. And that's gotta be the most pathetic part. You would think the animal abuse is the worst part, but the worst part is when someone goes out of their way to brag about animal abuse. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to kill a cat. Dude, you're a human. It's hardly a fair fight. You're just abusing animals to abuse animals. You're not a badass. The images that were connected to this post were very graphic. I wasn't even prepared to see, and I've seen some terrible stuff, but I, I really wasn't prepared to see a baby's arm so damaged and so hurt, all because a grown ass man had beef with a baby for making noise. God forbid the baby screams at night. God forbid the baby behaves the way it's supposed to behave. So you pick up a coat hanger and you beat your son to the point where his arm is so severely broken and lacerated that the doctors have to amputate it. A baby! The poor kid has barely started life and he lost an arm because you didn't want to be disturbed while you were asleep? Are y'all really dressing y'all children up as Jeffrey Dahmer? 
Seriously? Don't attribute malice to what you can attribute to stupidity. A good portion of humanity has no thoughts. And what I mean by that is that there's no machine in their head that, you know, checks all of their actions, checks all of their words, checks all of their behaviors. These people have one function. They are one track mind, just impulse, 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 impulse. No discipline, no thoughts, no inhibitions, just actions. And let's be honest here, even though those people are incredibly annoying and we wish they didn't exist and they slow down the world and make everything inefficient, but these people are a living and breathing example that things could always be worse. Yes, you might not be as smart as Stephen Hawking, but at least you didn't dress your kid up as Jeffrey Dahmer for fucking Halloween. I, uh, I'm actually Puerto Rican. I'm sorry, what? Si, Boricua. No, yeah, but you weren't the only one talking. That's, there was someone behind you. No, this isn't, this, I'm not doing, you know, this isn't dealer's choice, you know, I've, I have prepared jokes for this. That's, I am, thank you. Thank you for your permission. That's mostly because I didn't know what sarcasm sounded like in Spanish. It's like regular sarcasm, but uh, you put an enye on it. It's... I know enough Spanish. That's proof enough right there. That's, I just did. That was a Spanish lingu language joke. It's... Checkmate, bitch. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The single applause break. I'll take it. I, uh... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't say big titty bitch, that was Matt. That's, I could give you a different name if you would like. Uh, I mean, it's, I don't know you well enough, so I'm not making fun of who you are as a person, but based on everything, I would have to say like, Latina Karen. <laughs> it's the haircut if I'm being honest. I'm sure you're wonderful. If we weren't doing this, we would open a bottle of Cabernet and we would just gossip about the neighbor bitches. Trust me, I could be a catty bitch when you get some red wine in me. Acid poured into eyes, bottles inserted into genitalia, victim left to die, Supreme Court acquits three convicts in 2012 of Chihuahua gang and murder case. Acquits? Like, you can go home, scot-free? No punishment? And you have evidence that they did this? On November 7th, 2022, the Supreme Court acquitted all three convicts who had been awarded death sentences by the Delhi court for the 2012 rape and murder of a 19-year-old woman in Chihuahua, neighborhood of Delhi. How is that remotely possible? How can you have all of the evidence that points to these three men participating in something egregious and then initially concluding that their actions are worth the death sentence and then somehow do a full 180? Somebody got paid. There has to be a bribe. There has to be corruption. There's, there, I can't think of any other reason. Android film sparks controversy and walkouts at Berlin Film Festival. Trouble with being born depicts a relationship between a robot played by a 10 year old girl and a grown ass man with CGI nude scenes. So you just made CSEM, but in a feature length film style and you really thought people were gonna be okay with that? Somebody needs to check your hard drive. memory alive, I'm working on uploading the entire collection of my late daughter Ava Martini to my OnlyFans. There will be modeling pics of her solo, topless selfie pics with her and I, and topless selfies with her and my other daughter who is now retired. I'm trying to wrap my head around the logic here. There isn't any. I'm, I'm trying to really be holistic with this. I tried to be kind that maybe there's some some weird cockamamie way to mourn for your child by uploading her porn onto your platform. No, you're just trying to make money. You're just trying to earn a dime off of your daughter. And you have access to all of her stuff now. And she can't stop you because she's six feet deep. So just admit that you want to make money off of your dead daughter. There's genuinely no other way to perceive this. This is not mourning. Why the fuck are you making money off of your daughter's pictures? Why that? Why do you want to preserve her porn? 
the fuck is wrong with just be honest about pimping out your daughter even after she fucking died you ever just lose your mind in the bar and threaten to beat up random women Wow, let's just let's just keep ruining things. Let's just keep destroying historic things that cannot be repaired because we want to participate in something stupid online. We begun the video with someone torching a Frida Carlo painting for an NFT. And now this genius chose to scale up a wall with no care to how your shoes are damaging the hieroglyphics and subsequent stone carvings. Those carvings and those hieroglyphics were there for millennia and you just destroyed them for a boomerang on Instagram. I just scrolled through Riva Aurora's Instagram and all I can say is her parents are going to the deepest pits of hell. This little girl, in the truest sense, is 11 years old. But you might be confused, how is that an 11 year old? She looks like she's 16, 17, maybe even 18 years old. Let me enlighten you on what's going on. The mother of this child is the worst. She always popped up on my Insta and I legit thought she was 18. She always dresses quite older than her age and dances with men older than her. I went to see how old she was and it turns out she just turned 12. On her birthday, she hid her age with an emoji. Her mother and her are hiding her age, which is so sus. And then this random nurse popped up on her mother's Instagram comments one day saying something like, I'm so glad seeing my patient success. So I did some snooping. I went on that nurse's Insta and scrolled down to see a post on injections and steroids with the girl Riva and her mom. She got her daughter to get breast augmentation. There was pictures of the kid's thigh and what they did. It was so weird and wrong. It's all gone after mom started calling them out, but it didn't blow up because she's not that famous. This next clip is going to infuriate you. It's a three minute long TikTok of a woman talking about how corrupt her local police department is and how as a result of that corruption, her child who was sexually assaulted isn't getting any justice. If you don't want to hear about that, because she goes into detail, feel free to skip to this time code right here. You can avoid all of it. All right? Okay? To those who skipped, you already skipped. Let's do it. Let's jump into it. On September the 24th, my seven-year-old daughter was kidnapped and sexually assaulted by her uncle in Adams County, Ohio. The Adams County Sheriff's Office arrested the uncle, took him to the Sheriff's Office, questioned him, and let him go. They proceeded to tell me that they could not charge him formally with any charges at this time. Told me to take my child to Children's Hospital and have a rape kit done. That night, I did so. Took her to Children's Hospital. She was transferred from one hospital to another. After that, we followed up with the Marison Center so she could give her statement and her testimony and tell them what happened to her. Um, Children's Hospital sent all of the evidence to the Adams County Sheriff's Office, evidence that they did collect there was evidence on my child. However, they still didn't arrest him. Even though I've spoken to multiple government officials who has told me that they could have arrested him and held him on the kidnapping charges pending the investigation for the sexual assault. However, they did not do that. Instead of charging him with anything, they just let him go into the streets. After they released him, he had made threats to other people that we are affiliated with, and he had said that he was going to kill my daughter, he was going to kill me. Before he spent a day in prison, he, was, he would kill us. Um, they, we informed the police and the detective of these threats. Still nothing. Here we are eight weeks later, almost eight weeks. Still nothing. When I call the prosecuting off prosecutor's office to speak to the detective that's on the case, he will not take my calls. He will not take my calls because I made it known that I was going to take this to the local news stations 
that I made it known that I was going to contact the governor's office and I was going to tell the governor, I made it known I was going to talk to the attorney general's office and anyone else that I needed to speak to, I was going to do so. So because I made that statement to them, informing them that I'm not letting this go, they will not speak to me. Now, a little background on Adams County and how they work. If you will be an informant for them, if you will give them something, your charges get pushed under the rug. They like to keep the state out of their business because they're corrupt. It's literally kangaroo county, kangaroo court, kangaroo cops. My child deserves justice, and I will not stop until I get justice, which is why I'm taking this to TikTok. I'm taking this as viral, as public as I possibly can, because my daughter deserves justice. The amount of turmoil that this child has suffered since this happened no child should ever have to suffer. You ever just make the mistake of being homeless in a major city? Well, an older woman was getting a ticket this morning for being homeless. Uh, this is not what solving homelessness looks like. You're just wasting paper and time. She's never gonna pay that bill because she's homeless. The woman barely has shoes or clothes. She barely eats. You think she's gonna give you a hundred bucks for being broke? Even more priceless artifacts just being ruined. I can't believe people spend so much money and go out of their way to spend time scheduling a trip to Italy to visit the Vatican only to shove a priceless marble bust of a Roman leader onto the ground and then have the audacity to run away and act like not everybody just heard a tactical nuke slam the floor, all while coming to terms with the fact that something that sat still for 2,000 years just turned into dust in five seconds. All right, we're gonna go bowling with the pumpkin. Oh my oh. That was so good! She got his on, huh? What? Fire. We're just trying to get- Let's go, get the shit up, let's go, come on. You're a little bit mean. Yeah, you're stupid. Come on, let's go. As a security guy, I would let's be a go. lot more nice. Let's go. Did you get a strike? <laughs> nah. <laughs> let's go. Put that girl on your thing. Shut the f up, let's go. That was a good idea, wasn't it? You know, pumpkin spirit. No, it's a dumb idea. I, I just dumb? told you it's dumb. That's who does that shit, throwing pumpkin on a bowling alley? Katie Sigmund. Take your ass home. My ass home? I'll take my fat ass home. Let's go. Yeah, this fucking ugly ass bitch. Oh. Oh. No. I think you need a court. Go. We're going to court. Go. You want to fight? Oh Let's shit! Fight. You touched me. She was gonna have it. Oh fuck no! Fuck this! Oh no! Hell no! What? Huh? Anybody heard about what? Oh. People, man, humans, <laughs> we're really capable of some fucking dark shit. Two teenagers bash 82-year-old man in the head from behind, knock him down, steal his truck, along with the gift he just bought for his wife. It's crazy how people will behave if they genuinely believe they can get away with it. It's crazy how people will behave if they genuinely believe that no one will retaliate against them. Assholes, criminals, and degenerates thrive on your civility. They love it when you turn the other cheek, because that's just another opportunity for them to slap you again. These two teenagers assaulted an elderly man with a weapon and then stole his car. That's two felonies. But because they're juveniles, because this is their first offense that they've gotten caught for, because the charges get dropped because the elderly man doesn't want to be bothered with a trial, these kids are not going to see any sort of consequences for their actions, which means they will continue to be menaces. They will continue to harm you and me because they've got nothing to lose. Trust me, if you're striking people in the back of the head, elderly people in the back of the head with a hammer, you're not amounting to much. You are a zero sum. If these two young men were to vanish tomorrow, the world would keep turning. And for a child to understand that, fuck it. For anybody to realize that about themselves, that they are truly a zero sum, they're a powder keg. They're capable of all sorts of evil acts because nothing fucking matters to them. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aileris, AKA Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get the notifications every time. For those who haven't seen r slash Morbid Reality 13, there was a channel announcement at the end. This week will be finished out with double uploads from today all the way up to Saturday. That's what I took the past three days working on. So I hope you guys are excited for that. And as always, you gotta thank the Patreon supporters 
that make content like this possible. A big thank you to Lucas Adams, Big Boy Bailey, Primavera, BMX30, Walinda, Ouija Baby, Cinnamon Sticks, Crush 40 Legacy Gamer, Scott, Rivka, Lightstar, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Faneker, Zach F, Darth Titan, Keely, Dunder Has Hawk, Viva LaRue, Knobs, Lady Laughs A Lot, Swiss Patreon user, Noah, and Catherine Taylor. Thank you so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one in my merch store and one in my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.